Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with another video, this time around going over gems and how they kind of work. I know they've been a while or they've been out a while and stuff like that, but people keep like asking me about how it works and stuff like that. So I did want to make out a video that I could also reference sometimes people to if I'm a little bit, you know, uh, caught on time or anything like that. Or if you just something you were wondering that actually might help you with some of the information that I'm actually going to to uh, talk about at this so uh, they did of course in a while back make it so you can re-roll gems you can augment gems and stuff like that all stuff we already know but uh, the thing is how gems work is that of course they are uh, made so you level them up to 25 and, and so on and so on and many people uh, do ask about how how are uh, how do i re-roll things how do you do and why how do i get a perfect gem so any gem at this moment can be perfect uh if it has what it's like the starting point is this so for lesser gems it is of course two stars and three stats and i will explain that a little bit something that's more visual that's much easier to see but keep in mind small gems or lesser gems are uh, three stats two stars so we also have empowered ones and for them to be become perfect you need three stars three stats so always three stats but empowered has three stats less of one can maximum have two st stars uh, at level one we're talking of course at level one we're not talking level 25 <laughs> so uh if you find a gym let's say you find a gym and it's uh three stats uh, as you can see, this one has max health, max health, and physical damage. Maybe these are not the stats you want, but it doesn't really matter. All you really want to look for is the power rank. So the higher the power rank, the better. Just means that you have to augment it less or use more less resources on it. The better its starting point is on the power rank. Because we can always change around the, uh, the, the other stats. Uh, you do want to kind of have the main stat on it so you know so which direction it's kind of going. It's, it's a little bit weird to uh, go with the change of physical to magic or the magic. To, it's a little bit weird because you cannot have both physical and magic damage on a, uh, a gym. And we're also right now, as I'm recording this, we can only get uh, max health percentage and max health like flat. And then, of course, crit hit, crit damage, and then either uh, physical damage or magic damage. But they're talking in the future about some other stats as well. Maybe we can see, we're going to see like movement speed or jumps or something like that. But they're talking about getting it a little bit more interesting. It's going to make a little bit more RNG because you're going to re-roll it. But uh, does also make it more interesting than just getting mass health. But yeah. So uh, as we have this uh, gym, of course, we are. I'm gonna bring it over here to our gym forge, and gym forge is absolutely here's where you improve the stats. Uh, I would always recommend you take the silver one uh, and not the, using the yellow, uh, the the yellow, sorry, the gold, or of course the bronze. The bronze is is better than the gold, but 100% the builders one is the one that is best. So if we take uh, our uh, gym here, you can see. These are the stats on it right now. And you see the percentages are really, really high at this moment. They're really, really high. And uh, I can recommend take this one and prove the stats more on it. So if I was to take another gym that didn't have as much power rank, the stats or the percentages would, of course, be, be uh, you know, uh, you know, be uh, less than that. But before we do anything about augmentation or anything like that, or start re-rolling gems, I, uh, I can also re-roll some stats on it. Before we do that, we need to see if the gem rolls perfect. In the sense that perfect means that it gets like this. Uh, keep in mind that uh, maybe I should find another one. There we go. That's a little bit better one. This is also an empowered one. Doesn't really matter. But the point is that... Uh, at level five, when you level it up, one, two, three, four, five, it at level five, it gets an extra boost. And this is what these small stars or small uh, six squares, whatever you're going to call them, these small dots here means. So at level five, 10 and 15, they get this extra boost to the thing. And it can also happen to end up like this one, where it says all the free boosts on the one of the stats. And you can of course re-roll these whatever you want to. So this one, for example, I should probably have re-rolled uh, the magic damage to be up here or whatever. I can always do that. But the point being, you want the main stat to be on the two star and crit damage on here and then critical hit here. If you don't need a more critical hit, you can always get like, uh, I think I have... 
oh, I've changed this around. But you can also have max health. At one point, at some point, we can get other stats, so like jumps or movement speed or something like that could be a thing. So you maybe want that instead of getting the 100% crit. Because if you go to my characters tab, you can see that um, if you go in here and you go here, you can see I have 100%, 106% critical hit, which means, of course, I'm over the cap. Uh, I don't get nothing out of 6.3%, so I could re-roll some of the stats. Maybe you even... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm looking in the character tab. Uh, you could say that I maybe should have changed this around, so it gives a little bit less. I could change that if I wanted to, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. But you can you can always tweak a little bit, tweak, 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 you know, and, and get it uh, perfect. But um, you wanted to have the two bumps on this one and one bump on this one. So this becomes, as uh, I like to say, it's the golden stat, and then you have your silver stat, and then you have the bronze stat. And again, you can see the bronze stat here is almost like up here this is on 50 percent this was only on 50 percent so i would augment this to become uh, so this gem here can become perfect uh, but if it does like uh, not not this can also be okay but there is some gems out there i'm not sure i can find one right now but if it rolls one uh one of these bumps or one of these boosts on this one or this one or this one so it, it becomes one 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 then it, it's not really good because you do want that uh, as 2-1, you want to have a golden stat, you do want to have a, a silver stat, and you want to have a bronze stat. So you don't have, like, uh, the critical hit doesn't become too much, basically. And so you basically what you do is that you take your uh, gem you found that has two stars and three stats. Don't worry about the power rank, just get the three stats and, the uh, again, the two stars before you do anything with it. Then what you do, of course, is that you go to your leveling up and then you level it up. As you see, this is level one and you pump it up to level five. It's going to, of course, put one in. Then you're going to give it up to fit to 10. See what it, where it goes. Then go to 50. You can also you can just go to 15 if you just want to go to 15. See where the dots ended up. And then you can basically see if it's actually something you want. And again, if it's going to be like this, if it ends up like this, it's fine. You can always re-roll the stats around. It's going to take you some time, but you can re-roll these around and uh, then get it as a perfect one. And of course, you, again, you want to see the highest power rank as you can get. But if you're starting out as a new player, don't worry about the power rank. Just get two stars and three stats. Also, if it becomes 1-1-1 as a new player, it's fine. We're just talking a little bit more when you're into like U9 and you can farm these gems on a more uh, solo way and you don't not reliant on somebody else's basically. And then with time, you can of course augment them to be perfect. So it doesn't really matter again with the power rank. All it matters is that you get the three stats and the two stars because power rank you can just augmented them up it's just going to take you extra time of course uh more resources but you will probably find better gems as soon as you have these uh up at some point so uh this is a little bit more about how it was i hope this was information i don't think i missed anything but if i did if i missed any information at all make sure you go to the description uh or sorry yeah well also the description but to the comments and uh, let me know if there's something I missed out on and people can go there and read as well and tell me if there's something they missed out or if they ha you have any questions about any of these uh, uh, re-rolling, augmenting and, and such and, and, and basically let me know. And you can always go to the live stream. I'm more than ha happy to help you guys with your gems because it can sometimes be very, very, very complicated. And yeah, basically that is everything about augmenting. Oh, no, sorry, not, well, augmenting, but finding the perfect gems, I would like to <laughs> kind of want to say it like that. Finding or using the uh, right gems and, and such. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, maybe subscribe. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.